time for us to get into our morning conversation. And it's a story that is very, very tricky. Yeah. In, 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 in many ways, in, rather in few words to put it, very tricky. Mm -hmm. Ladies, let me talk to you. Let me share this story with you. As a gentleman who has come back from the U.S. after many years away, and he's come back to his baby mama, who has now moved on and is married. This man had gotten a child with this woman. And when uh, that child was born, the guy squalid. He disappeared. Scattered. Hata alikuwa napigiwa simu na ashiki. But the guy went away. He did what he had to do out there. He's now rich and wealthy. And it's some 20 years later, he comes back and he tells you, me, I want a relationship with my child. It's what, we, what I want to understand is 20 years, I want you to picture that as a single mother today. That man in your life, that deadbeat guy, he comes back into your life 20 years later, very rich, very wealthy. He has money and he wants to change his daughter's life. Or his son's life. Mm. Let me pick up from something Dr. Fweke said. Kwa mm hiyo -hmm. wisdom too. Mm -hmm. Ladies denying a man access to his child, you are punishing the kid and not the man. It's what we're talking about this morning. Okay. If you're deadbeat, the deadbeat man in your life, ladies, if he came back years later, rich and wealthy, and wants a relationship with your child, with his child. Would you allow him? Would you let him have that relationship? Yeah. So first thing, akunaga kitu kama dead beat. What do you mean? Most men wanakata zagwa kuona these children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We need, we, need to, we need to break it down here also. Mm -hmm. Because kuna wanaume wengi, ata wewe. Sikuilu uliambiwa, we need to talk. Ugasia, yes. Akona, eh? Mimba. Most men don't know how to behave and react <laughs> and manage all that situation. Kwaza kama naende shagari anaweza shikuwe pat accident. Yes. Men don't understand. Wanaonanga wamekuwa na kidevu immediately na wamezeka. Hiyo responsibility. Mm -hmm. A lot of men get scared. So ameenda amejipata. Maybe uh, after 5 10 years. Yes. Amekuja and you've also moved on. Mm. Lakini huyu huyu ndio baba yake. Would you let him see his child? Hmm. Or even that dead bit of yours today, Hajaona mtoto, even let forget even five years. Let's say it's a year. A lot of dead bits dead be they want to see their children. They yeah. want to support them. Yes. Mama and you attack your mama. Then today you scare machine machine jackpot. Watch another mambo ya pesa. <laughs> Why do you deny this man from seeing his son ama his her daughter but don't you understand the pain that woman has gone through over the years unajua pain pia inafai manejiwe no no, no. no but we also need, find, need to find a way of healing when that woman was sleeping hungry when that woman was struggling to pay school fees Sazo, when that woman was struggling with hospital bills Sazo, no let's be honest when that woman was going through all those things so do you know men don't forget their children we don't. No, I understand that. Mutoto wako. Mm. Uliza. Mm. We don't forget. Unaenda, unajipata, unakumbu. Na huyo mutoto utamuendea. <laughs> hey. Let me ask you ladies, if the deadbeat father, is, me I'm going to call them that. The deadbeat father comes back today and tells, the, tells you I want a relationship with my child. Mm. Will you say yes? Na nitalipa school fees. Na mediko. Yeah. Nani ta kusupport kiasi yangu lakini the baby huyu, huyu ni wadamu yetu, huyu, huyu. Yeah. Yes. Would you agree? Why don't you give us a call mm? on 0711 mm? Hata kama uliolewa, huyu, huyu, huyu sasa huyu ni wangu. Yes, we continue with our morning conversation today. And I want to talk to ladies and ask you a simple question. There's that man in your life who got you pregnant, you got pregnant, and after you got pregnant, this guy scattered. Disappeared. Every time you tried calling him, he didn't answer the phone. Every time you texted, you say, oh, the baby needs diapers, the baby needs this, that, he did not answer. 
literally became a deadbeat. Walimu is here saying there's nothing as a dead, there's no such thing as a deadbeat. Watunajaribu kujipanga. <laughs> Why can't you jipanga with her? Well, she's there. Kuna kelele ikikuneza kwa round wewe ukakuwa uwezi jipanga. What do you mean? You go build there in silence, now you are back. Can we yeah. talk about I'm back yeah. now? <laughs> sasa nimerudi. At you've gone to build your life, ujipange mm. kimaisha, sasa umerudi. I'm mentally prepared, yeah. uh, uh, financially prepared, mm. I'm ready now to take over the mantle. Ladies, would you agree? Mm. Mm. Mm? Na nimekuja kuzuri. Would you agree for him to take that child? Mm. Be part of my child, because she, she or he is part of my life. I'm not refusing. Yes. But you're just a DNA. Watch yo. Yeah? Jenny Kanyiri is saying, if the baby daddy decided to be a deadbeat father from the beginning, let him stay that way from helping the kid as I'll continue raising the child alone like I've been doing without his help. You need to tell that child yeye yeah, ni mluya, yeye yeah, ni mjaluo, <laughs> yeye yeah, ni mkaba. You need to tell you need to tell that child. Anatoka nyaribari chachi. You need to tell mwambie yeye yeah, ni wa nini? Nyamira. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Kipleting Manuel the son of Eldoret you saying such men should not be allowed even a single inch. Where was he hiding all these years? We've seen many men who want to come back when they see the kid excelling yet he was not supporting. Why don't you give me a call? 0711-046-1005. Ladies, if your deadbeat uh, uh, baby daddy comes back mm. and says, I'm ready now. Yes. Aka kangu nipati aka. Would you let him into your child's life? Mm. Talk to me. Hello. Uh, hi, good hi. morning. I'm very well. I'm, eh, I'm calling. Yes. Kuchange your mother ya leo. Eh, niambie. Now you know. You know. Yeah. I will not say my name. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, me, me, I, I had a husband and he went to America mm. and he stayed there for almost seven years. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When he called me and he told me, I want to come and take my daughter. Yes. And the time she, she, he went to America, my daughter was like six years, mm -hmm. but he was supporting, he was supporting the child. Mm. Yes. Now when, when he wanted to take the, the daughter. Mm. Niliambia nilienda nikaambia mume yangu nikamwambia eh bwana yangu anataka kuchukua mtoto aende America mm. my mom told me mtoto tu the life that this child is going to get mm. hautaweza kumpatia mm. so mimi na support vile kenyani anasema mm. yeah. ni vizuri tuache watoto waende kwa baba yao exactly as we are speak, as we are speaking now mm. my daughter is in America yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah, she's hallelujah. in America. Hallelujah. She's in America. Mm -hmm. And the life that she's getting there. Hakuna mtu anaweza mpatia. Unge mpatia? People people were against it. Mm -hmm. yes. People were against it wananiambia ati oh umepeana mtoto, wewe ni mjinga sana, but my mom told me, mm -hmm. you've taken care of this child mm -hmm. for all those years. Yes. Now it is your time to rest. Mm -hmm. Let the daddy now take over. Exactly. And that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. That's okay. what happened. Mm -hmm. So okay. Kinyani, you are very right. Uh -huh. Kinyani, kukwamilianga watoto. Unakwamilia watoto. Hata mtu anakuja anakwamba na taa kusaidia mtoto. Unasema alikuwa wapi. Yeah. Mimi nili sasa na uyo mtoto. Lakini, hini fika time. Baba yaki mm. anataka sasa kuenda kuingililia kati. Ningefanya nini. As we speak now, my daughter is in America. Bas. Okay. Wacha ni kuwa. She's in America. Amen. She's so. in America right now. And we always talk. Every day, every time. We talk. Alienda, akamunilia simu, ile life anapata huko, mimi singi afodi kumpe. She's in school in America. Bas. And now, she's 11 years. Bas. Hai. He, communi he communicated to me, I want my child to come to America. Na nilikuwa naenda. Na, kila kitu, the process I did, nisapeleka my daughter at the embassy for interview. Nika ulizo, you know this child, ameenda America and you will not see her. Nika sama, it is fine. As long as my daughter is okay. What else do I need? Okay. Akuna? Okay. Awesome. Sawa, sawa. Thank you for that. Mwalimu. Mm -hmm. Hakuna haja kukwamilia yeah. mtoto. <laughs> Wacha kukwamilia mtoto. Weke emotions aside. But what about all the pain? Wacha na na hizo pain ya nini? It's now. He wants the baby. Mwalimu, this lady has struggled with this child. Sasa tukianza kufikiria juu ya mautungu hapa, yeah. tuta maliza hii. Until He's when? Here. He wants. He wants. He wants in. Kwa mtoto. Me I know of ladies who are struggling. Mtoto and the father is finally here to take over. 
you have problems. Ebu keep calling. 0711046105. Eh? Ebu let me know, ladies, as we continue with our morning conversation today. I can't believe Molimu is saying this, but anyway. Let me tell you what it's all about. If that deadbeat gay, ladies, who left you high and dry with a child, came back years later and said, I am ready. I am willing to now take care of this child financially, emotionally. Would you let them see your child? You've taken care of this child. You know, Anakulanga Nini, you've been paying school fees. All the medical trips has been you. The play dates has been you. Tucking them in at night has been you. When they're in trouble, it has been you. Then this man shows up years later and says, Oh, you know what? Now I'm ready. Would you let them see that child? It's what we're talking about this morning. 0711-046-105 is my number. Because I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, How? The question again. If my dead bitch comes back, comes back, na am akona kakirum fuko imenona. So I cha kujen na dunia mzima. Alikuwa wapi yeskuzote? Alikuwa menda kujipanga. Kujipanga bila kusema. You see, there's yeah. this one day that that men up very silly and it's oh I thought I was being trapped. Oh I thought yeah 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 yeah. What? If you feel like that, then go and go and go. Never come back. And if by any chance you want a relationship with that child, mm, mm. I'm sure that child won't have a relationship with you. Because he doesn't know you. Or she doesn't know you. So what gives the right to come back and claim for the child? You know, the moment as a mother, Mwambia, this is your real father. Na kwa mutumbaya hivu unafikiria. Watcha ni kuambe, watcha ni kupatia very good example. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a friend who is almost like, um, let's say he's like 40 now. Mm. The, the same happened. So, by the time he was doing class 8, the father saw, oh my son, oh yeah, yeah. Mm. let me go back. He went back for the baby. Yeah. Mm. So the mom told him, okay, that is your father. Uh, I have no bad blood with him. Mm. But me and him, we can't. But if you have, you want to meet him, go and meet him. The guy met the father, but there was no connection. Mm-hmm. So these men also have to understand, like, if you need that relationship and there is no connection between you and the child, just go. Leave them. See, Lazima. Kwanza wetu na semanga wa ni dona, ni DNA yaka konaya, ana chosote, ni nini yaka konaya. Ni dona. So no matter what he does, even if he comes back with the entire world, yes, you will you bring everything. Mm. You buy me everything. You you've been no, you haven't been there. Tumilalanja, tumekuwa wagonjwa, umekuwa apana. Sindo tume survive. Okay. Yes, have a good day, Mike. You and too. Say hi to Kingani. Hey, I'm Mr. Lemeka. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Good morning, Maina. Good morning, it's Mike Mondo. Ah, Mike Mondo. Where is Maina today? Now? Yes. I don't like agreeing with Kingani, but for this one, Maina, Kubaliana, na yeka. I am, <laughs> I am from that situation. I'm, I still am in that situation. Mm. What happened? Wakati likuwa mdogo, mare likuwa nda kusikeni kuenge mambo ya mzai. I remember a time she beat me really bad. Mm. Yeah. And then when I was around 25, she started asking me, should I have to go back or go to Shamba? Okay. And the same thing now is happening. Yes. Because I have a baby mama that does not allow me to do anything for the kid. Why? And I am pretty sure. She doesn't. I took the kid to the school, to a school and then I came back to the school. Guy. So I have to secretly go and pay the fees. And I'm doing scholarship, but I'm the one paying. Do you get to see your child and spend time with your child? No, she doesn't allow me to do that. Yes, she doesn't allow me to see the kids. And then we will just stand here and start saying men, 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 calling men every other name. These women are not allowing us to have that connection with our kids. But what was the issue? There must have been an issue. She left. There was some infidelity issues. And mark you, the infidelity was not with me. It was with her. 
alipata mtu mwingine akasema ameenda ndio akajaribu kufiga vitu au nani akajitoa and now my daughter has to suffer we ati nikitaka kukutana na mtoto na kutananga na yeye kwa barabara ni kama accident guy it's really sad we cannot just put the blame on men it's very bad that's very bad very bad yes pole okay. sana ah, Laki, have a great day. you too na uendelee kulipa hiyo school fees mtakutana ni nalipa siwezi yeah. acha usichoke sitachoka <laughs> mm you know mwalimu now i'm getting confused mm. so where is the problem the problem is vital yeah. sio ni alikuwa na affair na, na kazi yake <laughs> eh yeah. hmm kai kazi ngo ye yeah. hmm? honestly ladies hmm. let me ask you would you let that deadbeat dad come back if he Wacha comes back what are you talking wanakatazwa kwenda kuona watoto stop calling them dead <laughs> they are alive <laughs> they are alive ati they are alive yes where are they they are alive ni, ni, ni hawa mama ndio wanawaita hawa wazee deadbeat yeah. when you say he's dead that means he's not part of your life he's not in this world the man is alive he anakwambia anataka kuona mtoto yeah. what is the issue ambia huyu mtoto baba yake ni wa kutoka bondo wewe si mkikuyu wewe ni wewe ni, yeah. wewe vile unakuaga wewe <laughs> ni wa bondo wewe ni wa bondo kwenu ni bondo keep calling 0711046105 Yeah if he came back that man okay since king angi has told me not to call you dead bits yes this so, alive man this man who mm. got you pregnant yes you gave birth yes and disappeared kidogo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he came back and said yeah now i'm back now i'm ready i'm ready psychologically uh, uh, mentally yeah. uh, uh, financially uh, i'm ready would you let them see their child yes for goodness sake i'm here now Talk to me. And I'm just simply asking ladies if that deadbeat guy a guy who just left you high and dry you got pregnant he's cut and disappeared you can you never see him again if he showed up and he told you okay years later your child has grown up and he's saying you know what right now I'm now re- I'm now ready to take over would you let them see their child And like I said earlier you literally single handedly raised this kid to whatever age they are maybe they are 10 maybe they are 5 you did it by yourself and he's now here saying I want a relationship with my child would you allow it 0711046105 is my number talk to me Mike yes good morning morning hi I'm very well how are you uh, okay I'm good eh uh-huh. talk to me my dear Now I I have this baby daddy. Mm. Yeah. Mtoto akizaliwa hakuwa. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now he is not here. Mm-hmm. But now he wants this girl. Mm. Who is one year seven months. Mm. Lakini anataka kumuona saa hivi. Mm. But he has never provided for this girl. He has never seen this girl. Mm. He knows that he has a child here. Mm. But I'll not let him see the, 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 the baby. I'll not let him see the baby. Why? Mbona unakwamilia mtoto? The baby is mine. The, uh, when I got pregnant, I told him I'm pregnant. Mm-hmm. He ran away. We we all run away. <laughs> That's not Arimo. true. But now he's back. You no. know, let's talk about now. He said he's sorry. It's just one and a half years. He, he's back. Uh-huh. Now he's here. He's uh-huh. here. He's here now. He's ready to continue. Eh? Uh, I will not I will not let him. He has not even bought a diaper. Nothing, nothing. When I was in the hospital, yeah. alikuwa na zile stories za just go to this hospital. I alifanya nifanye harambe yani hata bili hospitali wewe ndio ulichanga i i i i had a i had an insurance so mm. they paid lakini he made me mm. unaona ile bili yenye inabaki after the insurance has paid yes. ifanya nifanye harambe like go to this hospital i will pay Then after the hospital he said I will come home I want to talk to your parents I want to marry you he disappeared he disappeared Huyo huyo hata mimi mimi nakumbaliana na wewe Yeah I he agree with you He will never see this baby He will never see this yes. baby uh, and, and the ugly part is that the baby alitoka anamfanana na baba yake Haina shida 
Wa ina shida hata kama anafanana na baba yake si she will grow up hiyo she will grow up. Mhm. Sawa sawa. You, you, you stay sawa. strong. You stay strong. Hmm? Okay Mike. Asante. Have a good day. You too. Have a good day. What are you talking about? So what will she be, will she no. be telling that daughter? Let's be honest. This man disappeared. Ame mwacha hapo hivyo. Paka anafanya mchango. One and a half years. Yes. Just the other day. It's so? He is back. What went a seven, ten years? Twenty. I, and then you just show up. He's here. No. This one, this one apana. No, no, you no. You know, no, no, no. I don't know when we are going to talk about it. Iyo uchungu utakanao for how long? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you are bitter. I was not there. Okay. Now we are here. Can we talk about now? We are moving forward. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now, I'm here. Why don't you call us and have the final word? Eh? 0711-046105. Eh? Honestly, if the deadbeat gay... I'm sorry, Mwalimu told me not to call you deadbeats. Let me call you this way. The man who le went and left you with a baby disappeared. If they came back today and said they wanted to see their child, would you? Let them. Na wache kuambia watoto baba yao alikanyagwa na lori ya mtanga. Yeah. Wapi? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Stop saying niligongwa na lori. Have the final word, eh? We want to also take your final thoughts on our morning conversation, Leo, eh? And we just have to be frank about this. Ladies, come closer. If that man who left you with a baby disappeared, went wherever he went, came back today, it's five, ten years later, 20 years later, he comes back. And he comes back rich and wealthy. Seeking a relationship with that child. Would you let him have that relationship? It's what we want to understand. Because this story I heard really shocked me about this man who's come back from the US. After 20 years, he's now rich, he's now wealthy, and he wants a relationship with a child he left behind. And in a letter msukamano sana, watu wanaskumana hapa na pale, oh you should see, oh you should not see, he should not be allowed, he should be allowed. I just want to find out, would you let him? He's come and said, I'm going to change this child's life. I'll give them all the opportunities they want. I'll give them everything they need for life. Would you let him continue from where you have reached? 0711046105 is my number. Why don't you have the final word? Hi, good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm very fine. I wanted to contribute to today's topic. Okay, talk to me. Ladies have to really be very careful because this is someone who has not had any relationship with this child. Yes. So they, they actually have no heart. They, mm. they don't care. They might be coming just because of pressure from their, you know, family or just, you know, pressure from their friends that you have to take care of your child. They might be coming because of that, but they really do not care about the child. They don't even love the child. They don't care about you. Yes. So for me to take care of a child, and I have been probably trying to get you, and you're not responding, then you come when the child is five years or six years. First and foremost, there is a child that we need to protect. Emotionally, you have to protect this child, right? Mm -hmm. Because you do not know what the intentions of this guy is. He For example, there's, a, there's a, a lady with her children in Anyuki, if you remember. The guy came back to her life, and then later on, she invited them to Nanyuki, and they were killed. You understand? That's very true. And as a foundation, Toto Kuamchawi. Exactly. So <laughs> this, man, this man has got no heart, I'm telling you, uh, Mike. Yeah. He has... You have to be very careful. So for me, because I'm open to you, I've even told you when this child is born, you know everything. Because most of them, they talk, they, they, they will get to try to get the information. Mm -hmm. So this man really knows this child is there. But they are not doing anything about it until later. Why? So for a woman, you have to be very careful. There's a little girl caught there and I feel just because the child went to America, she feels that, oh, now she has won. Let me tell you, you have to be very careful. If that man called and maybe he was somewhere in Western or somewhere in the in Ukamban or somewhere, would she have been as happy as she is right now when she's talking about America? You okay. Know, we, you really have to understand what kind of a man this, this person is. Then there are those that men are trying very hard. 
they are the ones actually they are like please i want to be from the word go but they are ladies so, who are so. blocking for me i would say let's not say a woman block if the man is interested from the word go not in between not later from the word go if the man is interested let him come and sit down as grown up and agree how to take this co-parent and all that okay. the man doesn't have to be in your life to mm. be in the child's life okay so thank you so much and i hope this helps someone yes Bye. you have a good day fine how are you doing i'm very well yeah now yes uh i really like this discussion mm -hmm. and for the very first time i'm supporting kingani yes Nani leo tu kingani. So I I personally feel like mm -hmm. uh, in parenthood a name is the minimum you can give a kid. Yes. Just a kid having your surname is the minimum you can give them. Mm -hmm. I have my sister who is a doctor. Yeah. Na waliachana na bwanake a very long time ago. Yeah. The husband married, she got married. Okay. They had issues with the current husband. I was Kizani. Yeah. But who you the Bakewa Toto? Mm. Because the kid she has is from the past husband. Yes. Imagine my sister being a nurse while you can a new current husband. And the father to the kids is willing enough mm. to go write a marriage certificate for her to go to US because she's a nurse and she needs a marriage certificate. Yes. So, in as much as Walia Chana a very long time ago, you go hapa to support your mama ke in the US nine and our total. You're going, you're getting it. Yes, he's willing and ready and willing to help them and support them. Yeah, yeah, I can read. I tell you, my sister, it does not matter what amount of money you need as long as you're going to the US. Okay. You just tell me. And he has already married. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think the minimum when there's a patiam total, it's just the name. There is nothing like a deadbeat father. He married, but he's still there to ensure the kids are going, the mother is going. Now, uyo buwanake mwingine badu yuko tu, but ya ananga shuguli. So, your advice to ladies is let these men see their children. Yeah, if, if the men want to, well and good. What is it for? Ni uh, zawadi, wamapatua yeye na mabibizao. So if they want to see them, acha waone. In parenthood, Mike, mm. never done past tense is the worst past, past tense you can use for a kid. Mtoto aseme, you know, I've never had my dad doing this. I've never, that past tense in life is the worst. Okay. So let the kids experience. Yeah, there's a time my dad came through. Is the reason we are here. Is the nini nini nini. So Mimi Kingangi for today, Kingangi, you're right, and I support him. Come on, Baba Mtoto and Ataka. Well and good. Then Ata Ukiwa hold. What much can you do to them? Sour, sour. Okay. Thank you, Mike, and have a lovely day.